The amphitheater project is is now the agenda for our county commission meeting uh, Thursday. This is coming Thursday, and we look forward to uh, to continuing that discussion to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Uh, I think from the pre-commission meeting that we. All commissioners now have a better understanding about what's expected of us and what the project will look like when it's brought to fruition. What else remains is a uh, management with a management deal with with Live Nation, and then the uh, uh, construction project, the development project contract with. Uh, Robert Simon and the Star Project. What, what we'll do, we will have done our part. City of Birmingham uh, unanimously passed their, their portion of this, uh, I believe last week. And the commission, I didn't hear any dissenting votes here, but bring it to the agenda. So hopefully we will do the same. And uh, with a better understanding of, of what's needed and expected of us uh, moving forward. Now, the county commission is responsible for this funding agreement that's going to build this brick and mortar amphitheater. Uh, and what it will do, it will help revitalize that area. And that's what our some of our commissioners were concerned about. But the county commission itself has no responsibility except the funding of the amphitheater itself. Now those problems those opportunities that, that were presented in commission agenda today are, are very much needed for that community. But the county commission itself has, does not have the resources or responsibility to do that. It's our responsibility for the brick and mortar of the amphitheater and the needed revitalization of the community will come subsequent to the building of that amphitheater. And uh, you can't do one without the other. We will do our part, and we will depend on our private partners at STAR and the City of Birmingham to do their part. $10 million backstop is if there's any shortfalls in debt service from any particular year that the County Commission will be responsible for one-third of that shortage. And it's up to $10 million.